Hi guys, um, this is Mick with Wehali Bushcraft. I haven't done one of these in a while, so um, I thought I would uh, reconsolidate some of my gear and toss some gear and maybe add some gear. So this is my whole loadout that I'm working with right now, uh, only in a sort of a survival situation. When I go camping with the Boy Scouts, I carry a, a little bit different load than this. So what I'm going to do is uh, come down, zoom in a little bit, and we'll we'll talk about each of these items. Looking out here is my fire making kit. This is my my little fur bag that I use to keep my fire fixings in. Uh, it's it's nice because even when it's dark, this there's no other bag like this in my kit. I can feel it and I can feel the fur, and I know it's my fire bag. This is a, a possibles bag that has pine sap um, and some other accelerant. Uh, extender type material in it. Some cotton balls. This is a little frivolous. I may not use these. I'm not sure. A lighter. Got to have a lighter. Matches. Char cloth. A couple of candle stubs. Um, ferro rod with um, magnesium. A magnifying glass. I've had some good luck with magnifying glasses. Not this one in particular, but uh, they'll, they'll get a fire started when the lighting is good. And just a redundancy of mag another magnesium bar here. This is a piece of solid fuel. And if the chips are really down, I can light this thing and either get a fire started over it or, or cook over it directly. All right, this is my shelter loadout. I've got my poncho. got my tarp. This is, uh, this is a little iffy. It's, you know, those Mylar emergency blankets. Well, this is a Mylar emergency bag. And I've used it before, and I'm not sure. Sometimes I get... It's good to have because it's so light. Uh, but And it'll hold the heat in, but you'll sweat like you're wrapped up in a shower curtain. This is a big construction bag, a uh, garbage bag, like a 4 mil plastic that I carry. Uh, I can use it for lots of different things, including shelter. And here are some Ziploc bags that I can use for a variety of purposes, including uh, putting all these things together and keeping them compartmentalized, and it's very lightweight. I can use it for gathering um, uh, wild materials. I can use it for gathering berries, you, you name it, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so here are some of my tools. Um, my little hatchet, my mora knife, my little folding saw. I've really enjoyed this. These are going to make up my tools that I'm going to use on a regular basis. And this, of course, will be in my pocket. It won't be in my kit. Moving right along, I've got some cordage here. Uh, it's still wrapped up. I actually have started using uh, bank line a lot, but this is some paracord that I've got. Here's my uh, stainless steel Nalgene that I can I can actually purify water in it by boiling it. Here is my lighting uh, arrangement. I've got this little LED light. I use it a lot. I really didn't think I would like this, but I really do like this a lot, guys. My headlamp, and I also have a, a version of a clip-on LED light that clips on the bill of my cap. Now, last is my little mini Alice pack. I've got my Bible here. And a lot of people can just crap on me all they want about the Bible, and I've and I've seen a just a total uh, storm going on in the internet about people carrying a Bible in their in their bag. At the very least, guys, I can use some of these pages for various purposes, like fire starting, um, and I can just use it for inspiration and comfort. Uh, it'll hold a couple of things like a, a pen and some extra paper if I need it. So I'd rather it was smaller, but. Uh, this is coming with me, so uh, I know you guys. Some of you guys may think it's frivolous, but that's okay. I don't. 
And then here's my little mini Alice pack. Uh, I'm still, the jury's still out on this thing. I don't know if I like it or not, but uh, I'm going to start carrying it and see, see how it works. Next, I'm going to load all this up. Oh, by the way, this, this, everything is laying on top of a fleece sleeping bag. It's a very lightweight fleece bag. Uh, and fleece does not absorb a whole lot of water when it's wet. Uh, wool will still keep you warm when it's wet, but it absorbs a lot of water. This thing will keep you warm and not absorb a lot of water. Okay, here we are all loaded up. So this little Alice pack is, uh, is full but light. Um, right here is my stainless steel water bottle and there's still room in this pocket to put some more stuff if I need to. This central area is for my first aid kit. I didn't show you my first aid kit. It's, a, it's just a small Rubbermaid that has some, a few very small things in it. Um, here is my poncho and my headlamp. And inside the main body of this thing is everything else that I showed you. And uh, it feels very light right now. I haven't worn it for any duration because I do know that little Alice here has got straps that are not padded. They're good and wide, but they're not padded. And so there's some hocus pocus that I have to do to uh, get this thing comfortable. But otherwise, it's a good, good little arrangement so far.